Welcome to the Disneyland beat where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum and we always whistle while we work. Disneyland is always being worked on and we've got the construction updates of what's going on in the park and the refurbishment calendar on this episode. And let's have some fun along the way. Come on into the parks with us. Like, subscribe, and stick around. Disneyland is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure at your pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, speed. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm TC. Starting with construction. Let's get the repeat offenders out of the way. Mickey's Toontown is closed until March of 2023. And when it does reopen, we will have an updated and refreshed Toontown. We just got to look at the new model. And there's going to be a new e-ticket attraction. And the other long-running construction project is Tarzan's Treehouse, which we've just taken to calling Walt's Treehouse because we have no idea when it's going to reopen or what it's even going to be when it does. There's just a little bit of key construction and refurbishment going on. We're into the busy Halloween and holiday seasons so they want to keep most of the rides open. It does make us think that there's going to be a ton of work being done this off-season. Not that there's really an off-season, but January, February, March, that's when most refurbishments are done. Over at DCA, there are a few projects going on. The animation building is getting new LED lighting and new projectors installed in its main lobby. You can still catch the Animation Academy via a side entrance near the Hyperion and Turtle Talk with Crush via a different entrance near the Hollywood Boulevard bathrooms, but the main lobby and Sorcerer's Workshop are closed until the work is done. It's also probably to make the room look even better with richer and deeper colors and crisper animation. We hope they create some new content for the room too with updated shows. I'd love to see it turn into Casita from Encanto. It does not look like there's any word of updates to the Sorcerer's Workshop and the Beast Library, nor is there any word of the return of the character meet and greet like there used to be, so no royal welcome for you. Around the corner, Monster Zinc, Mike and Sully to the rescue is open, but the facade is still under wraps, though we expect those to come down soon. Looks like the facade with its many doors and fun characters is getting some fresh paint and we can't wait to see it. Right next door, something's going on at the Hollywood Lounge. It is reopened with a slightly expanded selection of cocktails. Some of them are really fun. There's a seasonal one called The Witches Are Back. It's a mix of melon, peach, and mint liqueurs. It's got orange and pineapple juice in it. It's got a glow cube in it. Looks cool, sounds good. But there are construction walls all around the place. Something's under construction. We were hoping that they'd expand into the nearby Stage 16, but it doesn't look like that one's on on the menu. When you're headed to Disneyland, you're going to find Walt's Mountain with its ride, the Matterhorn bobsleds, closed. It is scheduled to reopen October 14th, so it's about a two-month closure, and this ride takes a lot of work to keep up. It looks like a lot of attention is being paid to the waterfalls that fall from its peak. Scaffolding can be seen around several of them, and they've not all been operational in recent years. The waterfalls add so much to the ambiance of the ride, but we have to imagine they create huge headaches for the ride technicians. Having roller coaster track and tons of pressurized water pipes everywhere sounds pretty challenging. We hope it opens in October as it's supposed to, with all the water in both tracks running smoothly. Well, as smooth as they get. The Rivers of America's major vessels are getting some love. The sailing ship Columbia and the Mark Twain Riverboat both closed this past September 12th, but the three-masted sailing ship reopens a few days later on the 16th and the Mark Twain Riverboat a week later on the 23rd of September, so no big impact there. And there are still construction walls surrounding a small little chunk of the entrance to Tomorrowland. Proudly boasting concept art of an entrance we don't know when or if will ever become a reality. But that's it for major construction at the parks right now, which is great. It's awesome to know that almost every ride should be operational for your holiday trip this fall. But we were left with a question that could affect your upcoming trip. And that is, when is Splash Mountain going to close to start construction for Tiana's Bayou Adventure? Truth is, it just hasn't been an while we tend to think that they're going to wait until 2023 with the holiday season to close, like second week of January maybe, they may want to start earlier. They've told everyone that the new ride will be opening in late 2024, and to us, that seems like a really tight schedule to deliver on. Even though it's just a refurb, and even though Disneyland was built in a year, it's still a major project considering current staffing issues and other concurrent projects. So who knows, maybe it'll close right after the Halloween season, but before the winter holidays? So. It's hard to say when last rides on Splash will be. And finally, we wanted to mention that Halloween Screams is the current fireworks show at Disneyland. There's no big parade, just a fun Halloween cavalcade. And that all runs through October 31st. 
the Main Street Electrical Parade and the Disneyland Forever Fireworks they've closed, and there's no scheduled parades for DCA that we're aware of outside of the ones for the Oogie Boogie Bash. World of Color is running nearly every day and Fantasmic is running on busier days and weekends. Once the winter holidays start, the Christmas Fantasy Parade will run at Disneyland along with the Holiday Fireworks Show and World of Color Season of Light will run at DCA. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. The best way to support us is to subscribe to our channel. We have lots more to come. May the light in the firehouse window always shine bright and may your dreams always come true. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. Okay, here.